you know what I love is, is it feels very disruptive. You know, it feels that, um, you know, this is a genre I've loved since I was a kid, you know. Um, I've always been so curious and fascinated by the art of terror. Um, you know, especially as a black person, like black safety is, is a living terror, okay? Um, and so, you know, Lovecraft really deconstructs this genre that we've been shut out from for so long. You know, as an actor, I know I've been shut out from it. Speaking of uh, sort of revisionist history, how does it feel to <laughs> be a breakout star despite having a 30 year acting career? Cause I'm like, you know, I, I know that people pick and choose when somebody <laughs> had a breakout role, but I'm like, I thought it was easy by you, but apparently the white folks decided it was like love for <laughs> <laughs> And I noticed that not just you, this happened, we just saw this happen with Regina King, who is on one of the greatest runs in terms of the accolades that she's now getting. Right, it happened right. with Regina Hall. It happened with Gabrielle Yuna. I was like, why are they waiting? They're just like, oh, wait, this person's been here the whole time. Yes, the Black people knew it. Where y'all been? <laughs> so how does that feel for you? In some ways, are you almost insulted that they, you know, that there's a, a, a body of people who really believe this is a breakout role for you? <laughs> Oh man, it's it, that that's a funny point that you you mentioned. You know, for me it's it's tricky. I don't a wise man once told me. He said, "You can't believe them when they tell you you're great cuz you'll believe them when they tell you you're not great." You know, and so honestly, I'm just keeping my head down and trying to focus on the work, you know. I'm in my books, you know, I'm in class. I'm, you know, I'm trying to grow. I'm trying to be better than the last thing I did. You know, I'm trying to push myself uh, you know, I'm I'm in competition with myself of like, okay, how can I outdo myself? That's really my focus, you know. I don't know that that there is ever a point of arrival. Once you've arrived, you're dead, okay? Like, you know, I'm not trying to arrive anywhere. <laughs> I'm not trying to break out to anywhere, you know? It's like, I just want to do the work. And if it means, okay, more people are aware of the work, great. But it's not my job to focus on how the work is received, honestly. Like, that's just the truth of it. Like, as an artist, it's our job to create the art in this little block box in which we create it, and then we walk away from it, and then we go create something else. And it's incredibly humbling to see how the work is affecting folks on, on a bigger scale. Yeah, I mean, I'm grateful for that. Hell yeah, you always want... You want to move as many people as you can, um, but that's not really my focus. You know, it, it would it would it would be such an unhealthy um, race I'd be in if I was trying to um, please folks or if I was trying to um, do it for that reason. You know, and I'm I'm really not. It's just not part of my focus right now. Well, and I'm sure you've noticed uh, the people are pleased by Lovecraft <laughs> Country. Um, I haven't finished it yet. I think I got two episodes left. I feel like that's where I am right now. And um, so no spoilers. <laughs> all right, all right. All right. No spoilers we got, you know, it ends on Sunday. So the finale I, is, is I know, is it's, it's right here. So I got two, mm -hmm. then I'll be kind of where uh, everybody else is. And so, um, yeah, but nevertheless, the reception for this critically and just based on fan re uh, uh, reaction, I, I, you know, part of what got me to jump into it, I saw the trade the first time and I was like, man, that looks kind of good, but I'm not normally like the sci-fi horror type right. of person necessarily, but the conversation around it, once it started, I was like, oh, I think I need to get in on this. So <laughs> me and my husband started watching it in the, the pilot episode. I was like, oh, 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 okay, that's what we're doing. All right, I got it. And it really blew right. me away, but never left the reaction though. How does it make you feel? Because this has become... A real staple right now for a lot of people. You know what I love is is it feels very disruptive. You know, it feels that um, you know this is a genre I've loved since I was a kid. You know, um, I've always been so curious and fascinated by the art of terror. Um, you know, especially as a black person, like black safety is is a living terror. Okay, um, and so you know, Lovecraft really deconstructs this genre that we've been shut out from for so long. You know, as an actor, I know I've been shut out from it hella long. And um, 
it, it flips it on its head in such a way that I think that's why it feels refreshing. You know, it feels exciting for all of us. Um, I know that's what my initial impression was when I, when Misha sent me the script. Um, I'm not you, she just sent it to me to read as like a friend, like, hey, this is what I'm working on. So, <laughs> you just so want to see what your opinion was. <laughs> yeah, like the audacity. <laughs> um, but, you know, that was my initial impression was, wait, home? I mean, black folks into sci fi and, and he is a vet and then she's a, an adventurer, a photographer, an activist. Like, wait, they what? And then they go on this adventure and this is going to be the show. This is what, exactly, this is what we're doing? So this is what we're doing now. Okay, and then we fight monsters and then the, the race is turned into a monster. Like, wow, okay, we're doing this, you know? <laughs> um, yeah, it's just so, it's such a privilege to see the response, right? You know, one of the things I love so much because I've been live tweeting with the folks um, and, it's just, it's so cool to see in real time. Cause I'm like, oh, I know this part's coming. Oh shit, they gonna, what they gonna think, <laughs> right? And then to see the response. But what I love the most about the live tweeting is to see how many folks are, you know, posting an, an article about the Gordon Parks references or, you know, the poem, you know, uh, it oh I won't give the spoiler away right, because you haven't seen it so not <laughs> um, you know but like just the the references the historical references the nods to the heroes of the past you know our literary greats the James Baldwin you know it's been amazing to see folks be like okay you think you knew about Tulsa in 1921 but what about all these other towns right like or you know sundown towns when folks are being like oh I didn't know sundown towns existed or what was this green book thing? Like we actually had to have a travel guide. What the hell? You know, like that to me is the biggest blessing to watch. You know, when art can, you know, as Nina Simone says, it's the artist's duty to reflect the times. But if we can then also um, elevate in some way, right you know elevate the minds or, or get conversation going you know because there's been moments where it's like oh people are like happy about that that happened in the episode but it created conversation and this conversation is so necessary and so it's a uh, man you know being used as a vessel to tell these stories is it's uh it's such a privilege are you able to because of you know using the live tweeting are you able to kind of anticipate how people will react and, and, and in other cases, have they surprised you by reacting to something that you didn't think they were going to react to? <laughs> um, <laughs> Misha and I were, uh, she, we were um, live tweeting the other night and a bunch of folks, again, not giving spoilers array about episode nine, but they're like, you know, there's this moment, like Letty has been running so much throughout the show, physically running, like she keeps my ass fucking running all the damn time, man. Shit, blood and running, like that's the show. <laughs> um, and then there was this one moment where there wasn't running. It was, you know, there's some walking involved. And it never occurred to me <laughs> that in this moment, maybe there should be some running. <laughs> and that was so funny and surprising. And I was like, you know what? Point well taken. She probably should have ran in this moment, but the bitch is walking. So uh, that's what we got. That's what we left with. <laughs> so, you know, that was actually, I'd earmarked that as one of my top questions to ask you about Lovecraft was, is that, is that you really running? Like, are you really running that fast? <laughs> Hell yeah. Listen, I do my own stunts, okay? You know, I, I'm a stunt junkie. And so if you write something in the script, I'm too possessive over my character to, you know, let somebody um, else do it unless I am told by the director, you cannot do this, you know, um, which is rare, but it does happen. But I, yeah, I, I absolutely, I, you know, I've always been fast. You know, look, I have five siblings, four brothers and one sister. We always used to race. But in the pilot, it says that Letty was a track star. So that's one of the things physically I had to go and train for with my trainer. Like, okay, she better be able to run fast. 
And then on the day when we were shooting it, um, you know, it's a, it's a bunch of dudes. And so my ego, I'm like, you know, I love when men underestimate, underestimate me. It's one of the things that just fucking turns me on, gets me going, man, gets my gasoline just revved up. And so like, you know, director and the camera crew, they're all like, we're going to go slow, you know, because the camera's propped on like a, a, a golf cart so that they can lead me. We're going to go slow just so that we don't get too far distance from you. I'm thinking, mm -hmm, okay, all right. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go slow. We gonna go slow. Watch my slow. Like, <laughs> and so the first take out, I was like, and I bumped into the camera because they was going slow. <laughs> I mean, truly, I was like, no, we're not doing this today. You underestimate <laughs> me if you want. It's cute, but Letty is a trap star, and she's running from fucking monsters. So even if she yeah. wasn't a track star, like there's gonna be some extra juice that's gonna kick in for anyone, you know. Um, so yes, that's absolutely me. I mean, it's funny it's there were some people you. who, I, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I saw people be like, "Is that her? Was that a?" And then even for like the nudity, they were like, "Is that a body double?" I'm like, "Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know me by right now." You're like, "I'm out here." Shit. <laughs> that okay? I was in the gym. <laughs> Don't take that away from me.